All right. Well, for the beans, I take about one cup pintos and maybe three quarters cup red beans. I just mix them together and I, I rinse them a couple of times in here, wash them real good. And since our water is so bad here, I use bottled water to cook in. Now, that's one chopped onion. And these red peppers, they're actually, I couldn't find pimentos. So I just got some red pepper brand. Well, I empty those in with the beans. The water is not in yet. It doesn't matter. Now, for the seasoning, I take two chili seasoning packs and two taco seasoning packs and put in the crock pot then I put my water on that way when I soak my beans the beans draw in that seasoning otherwise I know a lot of people soak their beans overnight with just plain water well that's a more bland bean that way so I will mix all this together and get the crock pot on uh, now that I got uh, all that together in my crock pot, I always use a wooden spoon when I do beans. It just does a lot better, I think. Mixing the seasoning, seasoning packs, the peppers, the onion, the red beans, the pintos. Now, it's gonna be, since these are dry and not soaked, it's going to be a good 10, 12 hours of cooking. But... I couldn't find a ham hock either, so I got some uh, pork. It's almost like bacon, but it's side meat. I just add. I'm gonna add that whole whole thing. And it'll fall apart once it starts cooking. It'll separate. And put the lid on and just leave it on high. Just keep checking and adding water to it. All right, for the homemade cornmeal, our cornbread, we're going to get a, a cup of all-purpose flour, one, and one cup of yellow cornmeal, just plain cornmeal. And I grew up with sweeter cornbread, but I really didn't like it as much as I like not as much sweet. So instead of a quarter cup sugar, I put maybe two tablespoons of sugar then we're going to take a uh, baking powder. Now, if you look and see that line right here on the can, that's so you can even off the teaspoon. So, I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Now, this makes about four or five servings. I'm going to preheat the oven to 425 and go ahead and mix that. Now your salt, you can put about half teaspoon, quarters, quarter teaspoon. Now for the liquid ingredient, we want about a quarter cup cooking oil. That goes in and one cup whole milk. Usually one large egg is enough, so I'm going to do one and a half. Just maybe not quite the whole second egg, unless you've got really big eggs. Now, now I'm going to take my pimentos. Of course, that's that red pepper that I had to make a substitute with because I couldn't find anything else. Put that in the batter. Now I'm going to take a lot of black pepper. I'm going to take some turmeric. Just a couple of dashes. And some smoked paprika. A couple of little dashes. Into the batter. And... Get that going now. It doesn't matter if it's got a few lumps in it. It's 
that ain't gonna hurt anything. When it's homemade, you, it really doesn't have all them other ingredients that boxed cornbread mixes have. They actually put ingredients in there to help it mix better. This way, this is healthy for you here. It's all just straight up one ing good ingredient after the other. And that bowl of red pepper had some onion in it too. Now, I am going to go come over here to my skillet. All right, you're going to heat your skillet up for a couple of minutes and take salted sweet cream butter and just kind of rub it. You don't want to get the skillet hot, hot, hot where it's boiling, just hot enough to melt the butter and get the cast iron already hot so when you pour your batter in, it... It already starts cooking a little bit. Since it's going to rise pretty high, you want to do the walls of your skillet too. Do a little bit above, that way it drips down during baking. It really gives it a nice brown texture. Now we got that. It don't matter if it's boiling a little bit. Now take your batter. Batter we just made. I should have done a double. Cause I'm gonna. I could live off this cornbread. Everybody loved it. Now you just want to kind of take, mash it down a little bit. This is gonna be thin cornbread. I. I that's why I should have done it double. All right, now it goes in to very heated oven. On, I usually do 410 on mine because uh, my oven's a little off. All right, time for the cornbread to come out. Ah, look at this. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Look at them big chunks of pimento peppers. Nice and nice and done. Now the beans. Of course, I'm not going to be able to play this video until they're done. That'll be midnight. But they're starting to finally heat up. That bacon is separating. Sometimes I'll take some Jimmy Dean ground sausage and put in my beans too. Get a piece of cornbread here. And our juice in there too. And that is it. 